Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you Hey, what is up trainers? Pogo Joe here coming at you with another Sinister Cup video. In this video, we will be featuring the Psychic Types. So we did have our first round of tournaments come out this weekend, some of the big ones. And I am going to cover all of the great Psychic options in the meta, plus some of the crazy off-meta picks. If you find this video helpful, please drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down there. Who on this list shocked you? Who on this list will you be using? What Psychic Pokemon are you considering for your Sinister Cup? Please let me know, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so this video is going to be all about the Psychic Pokemon in the Sinister Cup. So in general, Psychic types are going to be weak to Bug, Dark, Ghost, and they are going to be resisting Fighting and Psychic Pokemon. So this doesn't cover the subtypings, this is just for pure Psychic Pokemon. We do have some dark moves running around in this meta and we have those pesky ghosts. But we're going to do good up against other Psychic types and we're going to resist those fighters. Also another important thing to note is Niantic always finds a way to sneak Psychic Pokemon into October events. We've seen it for Halloween before in the past and last year we did have a Psychic event so we'll see if we get another Psychic event. Up first we have Cresselia, a pure Psychic Pokemon and a very tanky Psychic Pokemon. We have an attack of 152, a defense of 258, and a stamina of 260. This thing is thick and beefy. It's a pure Psychic Pokemon. Its only weaknesses are going to be to Bug, Dark, and Ghost. It's going to be resisting Fighting and Psychic. Now we do have some moves to consider here. With the fast move you can go Psycho Cut which will charge up your moves a lot faster than Confusion. The trade off is it doesn't do as much damage. Or you can go Confusion which is a hard hitting move but it takes a lot longer to get to your charge moves. Now for the charge moves totally up to you on what you do. Uh, we have Future Sight, Moonblast, and Aurora Beam. I feel like Aurora Beam is kind of a must. Um, it's going to help you against some of these flyers like Lugia, um, Drifloom, but also it's going to be the fastest move it can get to being the only 2 bar charge move that it has. So the secondary move, totally up to you. You're probably going to want to go Future Sight so you can pick up the Stab. If you can only afford one, I guess Aurora Beam, but uh, let's see, I don't know, it's, it's very difficult to say. And it's also very difficult to get a Cresselia into the uh, Great League here. You do have to trade and hope that the trade gets uh, really bad because uh, the only way it can get traded and it has to go down. So it's very difficult to get one. If you've got one, congratulations, it's very difficult to get. Um, the closest I've come is to get one in 1501, but it is a very tanky Pokemon that will do a lot of work and take a lot of hits for you. So tanky that it's probably the only Psychic Pokemon that I can think of that can tank a Shadow Ball. Uh, even from the most deadliest Pokemon like Haunter, Haunter does about 80% of its damage and it still lives to tell the tale. But, <laughs> but that trade-off there is Psycho Cut versus Confusion. Uh, if you go Psycho Cut, your match becomes iffy and Haunter can actually beat you. But with Confusion, you know, it only takes about, what, four of them to get Haunter done. Um, so up to you what you finally decide on the moveset. Uh, good luck if you get one of these. Congrats. Up next we have Clay Doll. Claydol is a ground and psychic type Pokemon with an attack stat of 140, a nice defensive stat of 229, and a stamina of 155. It's going to be resisting electric, fighting, poison, psychic, and rock. It's also going to be weak to bug, dark, ghost, grass, ice, and water. So uh, some weaknesses that we do have to worry about that do come up in this meta. But uh, let's see here. With the move set, you're going to want to go Confusion. Confusion is going to be its best fast move. And then with that charge move, you can get away with just having Earth Power, I believe. Earth Power also is the only move that has a 10% chance to decrease the defense of your opponent by one stage. Um, it doesn't happen very often. It's only 10%. But that ground move is going to come in handy against some of these steel tanks like Steelix and Bastiodon. 
Um, so very good move there. If you do invest in a secondary move, totally up to you. Uh, Psychic just got a lot better with the update on uh, September 27th to the move pool. They made Psychic a lot better. They buffed it. Uh, it's a two bar charge move now. So definitely a good move to have on a lot of these Pokemon who have Psychic as a charge move. Uh, before that move was pure garbage and now it is a PvP battler's dream. So Psychic is the secondary move that's recommended most of the time. You can go Earthquake, but I don't know, I feel like it takes forever to get to Earthquake. So for me, it'd be Earth Power and Psychic. Still debating whether I'm going to unlock the secondary move and use this clay doll, but I will consider this for a cup because it is amazing. Also, quick note, if you have Gyro Ball from a previous cup, you can go ahead and get rid of that now. That's garbage. Up next, we have the Bell of Doom, Bronzong, a Steel and Psychic type Pokemon with an attack of 161, a defense of 213, and a stamina of 167. It's going to be weak to Dark, Fire, Ghost, and Ground, and all of those resistances over there on the right. Now with Bronzong, you do have some things to consider along with those fast moves. You're either going to go Faint Attack or Confusion. Um, I kept hyping up Faint Attack because I do believe that that's going to help you a lot in this cup. Um, you do have to look at the, at the trade-offs though. Confusion does a lot of damage and is going to help you against things that are weak to Psychic. But with that Faint Attack, that's going to help you out a lot with the Ghosts who could hurt you in the long run. So totally up to you what you run. Now with the Charge move, I am running Psy Shock, which is a must. It's its fastest move that it gets to. But you do have to have that secondary move. You need to have Bulldoze on there. If you're going to invest in a Bronzong, you have to have both moves. There's no way around it. Psy Shock is going to be very spammy. It's going to help you. But having that Bulldoze and Psy Shock together will help you a lot more because uh, when you go up against those Steel Tanks like Steelix and Bastiodon, that's going to help you overcome those battles. Without Bulldoze, you're very vulnerable to everything. You're not going to do as much damage as you'd like. So definitely run those two charge moves, Psy Shock and Bulldoze, up to you with Confusion or Faint Attack for the fast move. Uh, if I had Faint Attack, it would have helped me a lot in this specific matchup as well, going up against other Psychic type Pokemon. And uh, Confusion is just going to be hard hitting, but totally up to you. That is a big debate going on right now. Both of them ha have good matchups against them. There's arguments for both of them. Uh, PV Poke, where I pulled these little stats here of uh, what's being used or what's being recommended against the entire meta. Faint Attack's coming out a little bit more than Confusion, but I see more people using Confusion, so totally up to you and how you compose your team. I'll note on Bronzong, because it is a Steel and Psychic type Pokemon, it actually does not resist fighting, so it's only a soft counter when it goes up against the fighters which could hurt you in the long run. Definitely something to consider with Bronzong, but a very solid choice. Next we have Gallade, considered to be one of the weakest Psychic type Pokemon in this meta. Um, out of the main meta, a lot of the other Psychics do beat up on him, but Gallade does have some interesting matchups here, being a Psychic and Fighting type Pokemon with an attack of 237, a defense of 195 and a stamina of 169 so you do have some moves to consider here i'm running the classic leaf blade close combat you cannot go wrong with that move set if you did evolve yours during community day you have access to synchronoise which is a very fast psychic move that picks up stab so you might decide to run leaf blade and synchronoise which totally works you can also go with psychic if you don't have synchronoise Psychic did just get buffed and it is a lot better now. Being Psychic and Fighting, it's going to be weak to Fairy, Flying, Ghost, and Resisting, Fighting, and Rock. So it is going to be a very interesting choice to bring in if you do decide to bring this in. Um, there are some masterful ways you can use it, uh, just like in these battles here. Good luck if you decide to use the late. Next we have Lugia, a Psychic and Flying type Pokemon with an attack of 193, defense of 310, and a stamina of 235. It's going to be weak to Dark, Electric, Ghost, Ice, and Rock. 
resisting fighting ground grass and psychic with a four times resistance to fighting and ground that's gonna help you a lot the only way to get a Lugia is actually by trading down through uh, the Lugias you got through research breakthrough that were down uh, a while back hopefully those trades tank so you can get one under 1500 for the fast moves you're either gonna have dragon tail which is a hard hitting move or extra sensory which is a psychic move that helps you charge up a little bit faster and also gives you that psychic coverage and for the charge moves it's pretty much sky attack and hydro pump you're gonna wanna invest and unlock that secondary move uh, I'm only running sky attack but if I had hydro pump you would see it dominate right here so if you're gonna run Lugia you're gonna need those two moves they're gonna be very helpful for you up next we have Gardevoir with an attack of 237, defense of 195, and a stamina of 169. It's going to be a Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. Its only weaknesses will come to Ghost, Poison, and Steel. And the resistances are going to be to Dragon, and Fighting, and Psychic. We have those four time resistances to Dragon and Fighting. Amazing. So with Gardevoir you have some options as far as what fast move you're gonna run uh, Charge Beam will charge up your moves a lot faster but it's not as viable in the cup against like most things um, Confusion if you want it to be a psychic attacker or charm I actually love it with charm charm uh, will do a lot of damage to a lot of things in the meta it's also gonna be a hard counter to those fighters and then for the charge moves you're gonna want shadow ball for sure that's a must and secondary move is totally up to you if you got synchronized during community day congrats you can definitely use that uh, dazzling gleam can work for you psychic is a lot better if you don't have synchronize so uh, definitely some move sets to consider but guard of war can definitely wreck some teams and put in work for you Next we have the Swiss Army Knife of the Sinister Cup meta. We have Alolan Raichu, an electric and psychic type Pokemon with an attack of 201, defense of 154, and stamina of 155. It's going to be weak to bug, dark, ghost, and ground. What makes this Pokemon pretty awesome is the charge moves. So uh, in the update that we got on the 27th of September, it did get Thundershock as the fast move, making it the clear number one charge or fast move. And with the charge move, uh, Alolan Raichu's been getting some love. So we have Wild Charge, which you should probably have. It's the hardest hitting move that it does have. And then you have Thunder Punch, which is always a fast spammy move. You have the new Grass Knot that was added a little while back. So you can pick up the Grass Coverage if you need it. And then you do have Psychic, which just got buffed. So you have so many great options when it comes to Alolan Raichu. Uh, you never know what's going to come in. Uh, you could have two of the two bar charge moves and not even use Thunder Punch at all. And that will help you a lot too. So watch out for that Alolan Raichu. Up next we're going to the bargain bin to grab some crazy off meta Pokemon that are going to be very interesting for this cup. Up first we have Chimeko, a pure psychic type Pokemon that has access to Shadow Ball. That makes it pretty darn dangerous. Uh, you're going to want Extra Sensory, Shadow Ball, and Psy Shock if you decide to do that. That's also one of the Pokemon that you can get as a baby Pokemon and buy the secondary move for 10,000 be before you evolve it. So that's helpful. You do have Slow King with an interesting move set. You can run either Water Gun or Confusion, Water Gun being the most useful one right now. That new buffed Psychic, and then it has access access to fire blast imagine hitting a fire blast against one of those steel tanks amazing we have grumpig with charge beam shadow ball and psychic um, that could be interesting maybe if you had a very good uh, pvp iv grumpig some people talking about using that we have latios and latias um the few dragon pokemon actually making it into this cup uh i think the only ones actually i like latius with charm a lot better but hey whatever floats your boat and then we go over to slow bro slow bro running confusion psychic and ice beam you can also run water gun on that uh seems to be a lot more useful now um I have seen people using water pulse on this thing too so uh, keep an eye out for it it could be pretty dangerous and then you have slow poke if you have a top like 96% or better IV one 
Uh, ideally, you would want a 100% one. If you have that, you can use Water Gunner Confusion, Psy Shock, and Water Pulse, or even Psychic, and it could put in a lot of work for you. Here are just some of the lower tier off meta psychic Pokemon that you can consider and might see in some of your cups. There you have it trainers, the psychic Pokemon in the Sinister Cup. If you found anything helpful, please drop a like and subscribe, comment down there what psychic Pokemon are you bringing in or considering. And if you found this helpful, I will leave a link here to all of the things I referenced and a link to my ghost meta video and the others as they come out. Next time trainers, battle on!